During this video, we are going to explore the way to upgrade or basically migrate a factory implemented on previous versions of Laravel 8 to, of course, Laravel 8 or higher. Basically, after Laravel 8, the factories changed at all, they basically are going to return and provide you the same functionality, but in the way those are implemented right now, will be much more flexible and much more functional for you, but you need to make some changes in the structure of your factories and eventually in the way to use them. So this is basically an example of a factory that we have on, for example, Laravel 7 or minor version 6, 5.8, 5.7 and so on. And we need to upgrade that to Laravel 8 because after this version, all our factories are fully functional classes with specific attributes, methods, and so on, which is pretty different what we have here. This specific factory is basically creating instances of a model called role, which has a name and a description. Basically, the name is a slug with different sentences, in this case, one or two sentences, and the description is a set of sentences with two up to eight words. And additionally, we are defining at state for one specific role, which is the admin one, which name is basically admin. That's all what we have here. So let's do start the migration process here. Before of this, you need to be sure that you already are in Laravel 8 in order to obtain and generate automatically through PHP Artisan the new structure of a factory because what we are going to do here is just to make a copy of this, put that in a file if you prefer. You don't need to save it just as a reference. And we are going to remove our current role because we are going to take advantage of PHP Artisan to generate the new structure of our factory. So let's to remove this. We can close here just to be sure. And now we are going to use our command prompt and issue PHP Artisan, make factory, and the name of the factory is, of course, role factory. And of course, once again, we need to specify the model, which is going to be role. If we press enter, so this is going to generate our factory. And if we go to the structure of our project, we can, of course, obtain our new role factory, which is a little empty, but as you can see, the structure changed completely. As you can see here, we have now a completely functional class called Rod Factory, standing from our original factory. We have the model associated to it as an attribute of the class, and the definition is now on a specific method. As you can see here, we called a defined method from the factory, but now the method itself is called definition and belongs to this specific class. So basically there, we need to still return it the array with the specific information that we want to generate randomly. So we need to copy this. And there you have, we are just specifying the name and the description. But there is a little detail here because previously we have Faker as a, let's say, dependency injected into our definition of our factory. But this time, even when we're still having access to Faker, this needs to be done throw an attribute of the proper factory. So basically we need to change every single call that we have to faker to this faker, because this time faker, as you can see, comes directly from an attribute of our factory. And after that, we can still call into unique, to sentence, to word, to image, and any other generator that we have for faker. Now, the last step is basically, how can we define a state in our new factories. We previously had factory state. We define what is the model associated to it, the name of the state, and what we want to return there. Well, the logic is a little similar, but as this is a class now, we need to create a method for this specific class returning a new state. So this needs to be a public function and the name of the function is going to be the name of the role. So to preserve the consistency, this needs to be admin. And there we need to return a call to this state and state is going to receive the array with the modifications that we want to preserve in this specific state. In this case, we are just changing the name from a regular slug to just admin. So that's all. After saving, you already modified and migrated 
your specific factory from level 7 or previous versions to level 8 or higher. You start here and you finish here. As you can see, this is exactly the same. Just take into account that when you want to use your factory, you need to do something like this, roll factory, because now our models have access to the factory method. If they are implementing the trait called has factory that comes after level eight in all of our models. And of course, if you are just migrating, you need to include the definition and import it in every one of your models with those new migrations. And there you can call as usual to make or even to create to generate random instances of your models here. If you have an state, well, you can just chain to the factory called the name of the state in this case, for example, admin and eventually create or make that instance eventually. That's all. See you in a following video with additional information. You already migrated your specific factory to the new version of Laravel and you can do and follow the same steps in all of your factories.